Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from a loudy. A woman rejects man on a dating show, but then instantly gets replaced. That's how easy it is, guys. We have choices. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's Chow Time. Hey. Is it going to be a yes or a no with Jake? Honestly, it's it's not the height, but it's a no for me. It would definitely make me happy if you're tall. I don't <laughs> Jake, man, Grace said it was a no. Aww. What about Jake really caught your attention the most? Beyond, just be transparent. I love his voice, and I've always had more fun with Short Kings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least she was being honest from the start and didn't waste anyone's time. I respect that. And in my opinion, I would say it's a win for him with the second girl. They seem interested in each other, so it's a win win for both of them. I agree. There's nothing wrong with rejection. She wasn't into him. It is what it is, guys. There's no need to dwell on it, to be upset about it. <laughs> Okay, wow. Okay, so do you know where the nicest chicken in Canada Coke is? <laughs> uh, I don't need to go for that now. Yeah. Why? How come? Is that your option? I mean, it is the best option. Every time. I'll tell Every you time. if you tell me where you're actually from. <laughs> I am from Bazaar. Bazaar. I'm not from London. Give us clue. No, 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 it's no. no. I am Nigerian, so that explains. No, I know you know, that. You know, oh, do you? How do you know that I'm Nigerian? <laughs> My best friend's from Nigeria, I don't know who she is. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, all I need is shots. Wait, hold on. Her TikTok handle is hoist. Really? Gary, say it again. So we'll go to the village. If we don't get it there, we'll go to the old continent. Right. So the village is there. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> we don't do that. Oh, we don't, the... I, I quite like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> can you take those yellow glasses off so I can see your big blue eyes? Take that hat off and give the world the void of that forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know isn't going to happen, so. Where should a man take you for a first date? I would say a nice, nice dinner. dinner. Nice dinner. Nice dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Or that. Or, or that. that. That's okay for a first date. Take, take me out to dinner first. Yes, How long should a man last? Get. Well, when I'm ready for them to nut, I hit them with a the secret weapon and I also let them know. How long do you last? I mean, you gotta find out. She'll find I mean, out. Give her your number. Give her your I mean, I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. I think that men need to toughen up, and I think if yeah. men were forced to be homeless, they would learn how to be better. You know what? I think there needs to be an update on the pod laws, man, because it seems like anybody with a mouth and a microphone can make a podcast, man. And that just ain't, it's not healthy for society. You know, I saw some people say shit that, that shit about me, too. Like, oh, why does this guy have a podcast? They need to, you know, raise the prices of mics and uh, podcast equipment. I, you know, like, yeah, bro. I, I know they say everybody is entitled to their opinion, but uh, sometimes I just strongly disagree. Yeah, bro, I agree. I said this in an earlier video. I'm not a fan of inflation. But podcast equipment should be more expensive. Be afraid, but do it anyway. <laughs> Scrape, bitch. Scrape, bitch. Scrape, you little bitch. You little... Aww. Just kidding. Wait, bro, what? You got a ticket to, ticket to the Lakers game tonight? At seven? Oh yeah, I'm, nah, yeah, I'm not doing nothing. We can make that. Are you gonna scoop me or, or should I scoop you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the girls that I date when I say I'm gonna go hang out with my best friend do not are not happy. They have this exact look and this exact feeling right here. Okay. I'll be ready by then. Let's go. All right, bro. All right, all right, hit me. Dude, what about our date? Huh? Oh, that's tonight? Maybe it's just a schedule. Hey, we've been planning for like a week. Well, we can just go tomorrow or something. Are you sure? Try your Lakers. Come on, baby. You know I'm not going to miss no, go to no Lakers game and miss our date, baby. Aww. <laughs> 
She's a good girl. Good girl. Mom, Haley's feeding the dogs from the table. We got a new video coming. You got snacks on the bed and stuff, man. Come on, man. I'm telling you, boy, get yourself together, boy. And this is why you need real boys in your life. You need to add. It's okay to be sad. We all get sad sometimes, my boy. It's okay. Yeah, man. We your brothers. This what you got brothers for. Turn that light on. This too dark in here, fam. On me. We got some for you, though. Turn that light on. We got two girls. Look, go ahead. Oh, he cute. Oh. Exactly. See, yeah, I told you, you, boy. Yeah, I told you. Now you gonna get up now? You wanna get up? Yeah. 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 They ambushed him with baddies, bro. I love this. Those are some good friends right there. And finally, women only abandon and leave men that they used, not men that they loved. And with that, finish your coffee, and I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show. Your home, the only home of sanity, clarity. And reason. I agree with him, but I'm gonna have to change that. Women only leave and abandon men that they used, but not the men that they respect. I have a question for the men. Do you guys still want to get married? Like, is that still a thing? Maybe. Or is it just pressured because of how society is? Or is it something that you guys... No, men genuinely actually want to get married. We want to have a family. We want to raise kids. We genuinely want these things. You guys don't want these things, so we have to go elsewhere to find these things, or we just don't get it. You generally want. I'm just curious on your opinion on it. Go. We're guy girl best friends. Everyone thinks we're dating. I've always liked you. You can't say that. We're platonic friends. Everyone thinks you're gay. I, I just, I just, like, it, we just work so well together. You're making me really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> We're exes. We still kiss sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> We're exes. We always find an excuse to hang out. We're exes. This is why you don't let your ex st still talk to your ex or her ex or their ex. We fix our problems that we had in the relationship after the relationship has ended. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, guilty is charged. <laughs> We're exes. We haven't deleted any of the photos of each other. We're exes. We talk about our people we're dating and we act like we're not just <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when people like give up too quickly all you have to do is work on it it seems like they're genuinely happy now but they're not together exes sometimes we hold hands and go to dinner <laughs> we're exes we go to dinner and we talk about how the everyone around us probably thinks we're in a relationship but they don't know that we're actually exes. Yeah. <laughs> we're exes we split the bill now we're exes we feel don't weird do this man don't do this we're exes if she, she asked me to hang out i'm coming over we're exes. He asks me to pick him up at the airport so he has an excuse to see me. We're exes. We know we shouldn't be like, seeing each other, but... We're exes. We act like we want to be friends, but that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, real question. Why do boys and men back into parking spots always? Why? 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 What is the need? I feel so embarrassed. Every time I'm like in the passenger seat and the guy's like... <laughs> and like... We could have been on our way like three minutes ago. What is the need to do all of this like hust commotion? I don't get it. But one time I asked a man like why, well, and I was in the passenger seat. Why, why do you back into a spot? Why don't you just drive in? And he's like, you know, it's in case I have to make a speedy getaway in case I need to be out. Homeboy, he worked in finance. I, <laughs> please. Please get up, woman. Why, be bad? why does it matter? A lot of people like backing out because then they don't have, to, or backing in because they don't have to back out later. Backing out of a parking spot is actually harder because there's people going in and out constantly on the streets or on that particular like driveway. So if you're already facing outwards, it's easy for you to just pull out instead of having to look behind and wait for cars to go back and forth because it's harder to back out. Why be bad though? How do you shit with that ass? <laughs> what the fuck is you're so weird? I'm gonna tell your dad what you're doing. Sorry. Come on, bro. What kind of question is that? You can ask better questions, bro. Lock in. Hey, hey. bestie. Oh my god. How are you? <clears throat> yeah, you can. I miss you. Um, I have bad news. What? My girlfriend doesn't want me to hang out with you anymore because she feels like you have a crush on me. <gasps> so this is uh, the last day we're going to see each other. What? 
Yeah, that's what she said. I knew yeah. this day would come. Huh? I knew she would try to come in between our friendship. Look at her. Is she insecure? No. Is she, she threatened not. by me? I don't think so. What is wrong with her? Honestly, Bessie, I don't have a crush on you at all. Really? Yeah, I don't. She's lying. Your girlfriend is lying. Look at her. She's trying to ruin us. Dang, even your own girls are doing the same thing that they would do to your girls' girls. They're trying to keep you single. Really? Yes. You need to mm. do something about that. Do something. I should do something. Yes. Fine, okay. Don't worry, though, Bessie. Come on, I'll take care of you. She's just crazy. No, it's good. You need these right. Like no, it's not even a music video. Uh, it's for the bathroom down there, though. You're very handsome. Huh, I'm sorry? You're handsome. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Is that your friend in there? Uh, no, it's my girl, yeah. Uh, it's for the bathroom down there, though. You're very handsome. Huh, I'm sorry? You're handsome. Oh, that thank was you. I appreciate his girl? it. Oh, no, oh, it's dope. I think she's really pretty. Oh, thank so. you. But, I mean, you, you're a good looking dude, too. You feel me? So she got yeah, good taste. Bro, you kind of fucked me up with that. No, nah, yeah, I was joking, bro. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, though. All right, thanks. For sure. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Been single for eight years. You know why? She broke my heart. She was amazing. I thought about her yesterday. So when you meet a new girl, yeah. do you compare her to your ex? Is your ex hard to beat? Um, excuse me, sir. What do I look like to you in this outfit? Do I look like a cop? You look like a, a Vegas stripper. <laughs> you look like one of them girls on the street coming down, asking people, "Do I want to take a picture and shit?" Is it, but I'm a cop, so I can take your ass. Yeah. I mean, I can't blame him. He's keeping it real. Yeah, this if you suck your man cocky, are your man coming in your mouth? If you spit it out, that's child abuse. Swallow it. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Not child abuse, bro. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Ooh, that was some lighthearted chow. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of pick me up, a little bit of comedy. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.